for us to be able to, to be here today uh, on Hispanic Heritage Month and let you know how much we appreciate you uh, is really meaningful for me. And, you know, this month reminds us that this is one of the richest heritages in the world. And the United States is blessed to share so much of it. Traditions, food, music, of course. And over the last eight years, we've made a lot of progress together for all Americans. And nowhere have you been able to see more vividly the progress than in the Hispanic American community. Together, we declared health care is not a privilege for a few, but a, a right for everybody. We lifted our nation's high school graduation rate to an all-time high. More Hispanic students are graduating high school, and more are going to college than ever before. We all knew that it was going to take more than one presidency, one vice presidency, to get this done. But we're going to get it done, because we know where we need to go. We're not going to get there by tearing each other down, demonizing each other, turning on one another, trying to suggest that somehow there, there's, there's one group that is more deserving and others who are outsiders. America still gives people hope. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, we fulfill uh, the promise of this amazing country. You help us do it. And that's why I just want to once again say thank you for everything that you've done for us. Well, you, you may have heard that he has long refused to release his tax returns the way every other nominee for president has done for decades. You can look at 40 years of my tax returns. I think we need a law that says if you become the nominee of the major party, you have to release your tax returns.